Right, the last thing we need to do, <coughs> excuse me, is to basically look through each page and make sure that there isn't anything that we are missing. Um, <coughs> excuse me. The borders, for example, is something that I kept on until this point. Just so when we are previewing the page, we can basically see when it starts and finishes. So now that we're pretty much finished, we can, you know, we can take these off. But you can keep them on there if you want to. Uh, there's nothing saying that you can't have that. So if you want to uh, try it without the borders, you can just simply go over here, click on the actual border, make sure the border here, number one means it's a uh, little number one pixel border. If you make a zero, there's zero pixels. Enter, and we save it. And then if I come back here and uh, refresh the page, here we go and press F11, you'll see that's what it looks like without the borders. Now, some of you might look at that and say, actually, I prefer it with the borders. Some of you may say, actually, I prefer it without the borders. So it's really down to yourself and your personal preference. I mean, you might say, actually, this might look okay if I had more color inside here. If that's what you want to do, then by all means, you can insert some background color in these cells here. The only thing we need to do now is obviously if I'm going to have no borders in this, then I have to make sure I have no I have no borders in the rest of the pages as well. So I can't have no borders in the home page and then um, borders on the DJ page. So just make sure it's consistent, basically. So I'm going to keep my borders there for now. There we go, and save. But what you'll see is that some of these pages don't actually have anything. So the music page is pretty much full. I'm going to keep that as that is. Don't need to do anything to that. Home page is fine as well. But the DJ page is a big big gap here that I may I could perhaps use uh, a little bit better. Um, and I've got the merchandise page here that I could maybe fill in as well. Now, in the images folder, there's a few items that you could use. So it's really down to you now to start filling it in using appropriate images and making sure that the format of those images comply to the format that they have actually mentioned in the exam which is PNG less than 450 kilobytes so it's really down to you you might decide that actually I'm going to have a picture of I don't know, a t-shirt there so right click and merge and really there's no right and wrong here you just basically find what you want to use uh, but this t-shirt here it's a gif file so I would lose that mark using the correct format if I use that image without conversing it even though on every single other page I've created I've used the correct file type I'd lose that mark by putting the this image this one image even though I've done it 99% right uh, for the room you know for the, for the for the entire task I would ruin it by doing by throwing this image in so for me to convert that I'd simply open it in Photoshop And make sure you converse it before you use it. So once you open Photoshop, you go to File, you go to Open, and then find the image that you want to use. So I'm going to use the this T-shirt one for now first. So I'm going to open this up. Give it a second. That's fine. Um, that's fine, don't need to take the padlock off. What I do need to do is save for web and devices here. Make sure it says PNG H. Look at the pro, uh, the size, it's 19 kilobytes, which is more than uh, enough to comply to the requirements, and press save. And yes, press save. In fact, let's call this, um, no, let's keep it as it is. Image 16 is fine. And we're gonna come back over here and now insert this new version. image 16 and make sure that you have the PNG one so when I hover over this it tells me it's, it's a GIF so that's not the one I want I want this one here that's okay uh, so yep press save press save yes that's fine we're gonna give this a yellow t-shirt alternative text and press ok um, that's fine yep yeah, that's fine what I'm going to do now is press save and just um, have a little check on the preview yep yeah, still within the limit I can maybe um, make this smaller to fit another image here just to make it a little bit more 
um, appealing on the eyes, which is what I'm going to do now. So, at the moment, this is a 300 and 300. So, if I, I can very easily just change the numbers. If I take 50 off from one side, she takes 50 off from the other. So, I'm going to say, let's say 250 for now, and 250 there as well. And let's have this centered. There we go. It's a bit easy to see now, isn't it? And what we could also do is perhaps I'm gonna I can move this up here and then either have two images here or merge them. So let's see if we can find two decent images that are uh, landscape, preferably land preferably landscape images that will fit in there nicely. So maybe this cassette could go in there and this image of the vinyls or something like that. Um, there's nothing stopping you from opening it up and actually having a look and scrolling through and deciding what will be suitable. Now, you can see this is not anything to do with music, so you will always find an image that's not suitable and it's there to test you to see whether you have a bit of initiative and common sense to not use what's not appropriate. This is not appropriate, so we can leave that alone. Um, leave that on alone right for now. You can We can use this one, so I think I might use this. Um, this might be okay as well if we make it smaller, maybe even crop it a little bit. Yeah, I'm not going to use one appealer because it's a cartoon image and I've already got one similar to that. So I'm going to use this vinyl here and this one here. So again check if it's correct in terms of the format so it says png which is fine it's 99 kilobytes which is a good size so i can just throw that in straight away let's look at these ones here that's less than 450 as well also png this is less than 450 and it's a jpeg so to save some time just throw this one in and this one in so i'm going to go back in here and let's insert image um and find the ones you want. So this one is JPEG, so I'm not going to use that. PNG, that'll do. Press OK. Yes, and save. That's fine. And this is going to be image of records. Too tall. Push it back in again. And we can crop this so we keep the proportions right so we don't have to have it the same height. Press enter and then we can drag it out so we have the same proportions as we did before. And again, we have to test it save preview Chrome F11, and you can see it's still too tall. So I'm going to drag this in a little bit more, maybe zoom in a little bit more, so crop it a, a little bit more, so it fills this space a little bit nicely, um, better than how it looks right now. So come back in. I'm going to use a crop tool again. Press OK. Push in here. Get in more. Maybe leave the edge. Press Enter. Click away. Push out a little bit. Save, Control and S. Let's have a look at that now. Almost. Um, I could maybe make this one here smaller, but if you notice, as it stands, it's pushing this one out here, the flyer, and it's keeping a blank space here because this is too tall. So I'm going to make this smaller again still uh, until there's no inconsistencies like that. So drag it in a little bit more and perhaps make this um centered there we go and maybe make this middle as well so it's centered there as well and let's test that there we go perfect and we're going to throw in one more image here 
and it's really down to you what image you want to draw in and do the same thing basically all the way through your website making sure that there's no gaps any obvious gaps that you can basically fill in like here for example you know you know it's a lot of bare space so it, it might be useful to push these up and then throw in an image here as well um, so I'll leave that to you so I'm gonna go back pause the video make these changes and show you the end result okay so this is the final um, version and you can see that this page looks a little bit more fuller with these images I've found an image I wanted to use the format was correct but I had to make this smaller so I had to convert it and then I cropped out what I wanted to put in there made sure the dimensions were correct and now it's all nice and neat and you can see this image here which is a graphical link DJ page you can clearly see that I'm on the DJ page excuse me and the home page is all fine and then the merchandise page you have all this as well okay and that should uh, hopefully bring you the full marks in this particular exam paper.